Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build this awesome rustic wooden American flag. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is cut 13 36 inch strips. I don't have a table saw to rip this size down, so I just bought it this size. This is 1x2 from Home Depot. So I'm just going to measure 13 of these at 36. I got 7 8 foot strips, and then that will be enough to give me 13 strips, and then I believe there's one extra, so then you have an extra in case you mess up on any of them. And then that'll also give you extra pieces for your back end. But if you do not want to buy this, if you just buy, um, you can buy any size wood and you can just rip it down to, there it looks like inch and a half short. And then I believe this is just roughly three quarter. There you go. So you can either rip it down or you can buy it this size, but we're going to go ahead and cut 13 strips at 36 inches. All right, now you can cut four of your smaller uh, cutoff pieces, not your 36 inch ones, but four of your smaller cutoff pieces. You can cut four of them at 18 inches, and then those will be for your backer pieces to nail it all together. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is go through and burn all of the stripes. This is kind of where you can just burn it however much you want. You can give it your own look or style or however you prefer, but I like to just burn it light enough to where it starts to bring the grain out and then it doesn't burn it too much, so. But it's, it's your own personal preference, however you like it. All right, now that I got them all burned, I'm going to take my top seven stripes and I'm gonna measure 14 and three quarter inches over and I'm going to nail a razor blade in so that I can um, stain my union and the other halves of my stripes so that there's a nice clean divider between the union and the red stripes. And then the, the white stripes, you'll just leave those blank on the other side and then only paint the one side. Both of the stains that I'll be using are water-based. My blue one is the Varathane um, water-based wood stain and it is tinted in navy blue, uh, right there. And this one I got from Home Depot. And this one I got from Lowe's, this is uh, Minwax. This is also water-based wood stain. And this one is tinted in the um, scarlet. And that is for the red. All right, I got these all ready to stain. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stain all the left side blue and then every other stripe on the right side red. And when I stain these ones red, I'm gonna make sure I just wrap right around the edges just a little bit on the inside edges so that in case the surfaces are uneven at all, you won't see any white showing through. It will just be red on these, on these inside edges. So I'm just gonna use a rag, you can use a stain brush or a foam stain brush. So whatever you prefer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use a rag. Now 
that we got them all stained and they've all had some time to dry, we can go ahead and pull these out and then we can get it ready to glue. So you're gonna wanna flip them all over on their back and make sure that they're all facing the right way. And then uh, once we do that, we're gonna mark an inch and a half and 14 inches from either side. So we'll do an inch and a half on the back. You'll do an inch and a half in, make a line, and then you'll do 14 inches in and make a line. Then you go from this side, inch and a half and 14 inches. Your uh, strips on the back will go on the insides of those. So it'll be an inch and a half, and then you'll have a strip. You'll make a mark on the top one and on the bottom one. So then when you go ahead and glue it, then you're not trying to make sure that they're marked out right. Then you got lines, so you can just line them up and nail them. So we're gonna go ahead, pull these out, flip them all over, and then I glue in between each one. I'm gonna line them all up so they're standing, and then I'll just glue each one, and then I'll flip them down, and then clamp them. And I usually, I'll just start at one end. Usually I'll start at, on, on, the, um, on the end with the union, make sure it's all lined up, clamp it together, and then I'll put a line of glue on the back strip, and then I'll line it up with my marks, and then I will pin nail it um, two nails per stripe. And the size nails I use are inch and a quarter, I believe. And that will be short enough to where it won't come through the front of it and you can just nail in the back and you ain't gotta worry about them being too long. So, all right, I'm gonna get these all ready. All right, so this is how the back looks. I got four backers on it, and then I just made marks an inch and a half in and 14 inches from each side. And then these are on the inside of each of those marks. And then as you can see, I got two nails per stripe, and then they are glued. These are glued down, and also the stripes are all glued in between. So now we are ready to start working on our Union So I have one of these templates right here You can get one of these for like 10 bucks on Amazon. I can link it down below if you want to get one This one uh, is like pretty durable. So I've used it for like All the flags I've made so far and it's still holding up fine. So um, I'm just gonna tape it right here so that all the stars are in the right spot and then I'm just gonna go through it and trace it all out with a pencil. And then after that, I'll take that off and then I will start carving. So right now I'm just gonna get them traced out. So I got them all pencil traced out. So we can go ahead and pull this off of here. And there you can see them all outlined. So now we are ready to go ahead and start carving them. All right, so the tool that I use for carving is the Dremel 3000. It's got the uh, variable speed on it and then I have the flex shaft attached to it and I got the, the little fan on there and then I got a carving tip. So the ones I use to outline the stars 
is number 105, I believe. And then the one I used to get the insides is 106. Um, I can link it all down below if you want to get any of it. But 105 is the smaller one. And then 106 is a little bit bigger. So I use the smaller one to get a little bit cleaner edges on the stars. And then I use the bigger one to um, just get all the insides of those stars cleaned up. But we'll go ahead and set it up and we'll start carving these guys out. All right, so we're all done carving. So uh, I'm just gonna clean all this dust off and we can go ahead and get some uh, some sealer on there. This is a sealer that I use. It's crystal clear enamel and it's the Rust-Oleum brand. Um, and then I just do uh, three coats on it and that'll give it some good protection. Before we spray it, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my, uh, my hangers. So you can pretty much use any picture style hangers that they're you know that they sell at any hardware stores. I like to use these. They're just sawtooth hangers and I just get them from like Walmart. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a short little like, it doesn't have to be a certain size. This one's about four inches. And then I have two of them. So I'll just put one um, just lined up with this tops, uh, second to top stripe. I'll just line that up right there and butt it up against this side. And then I'll put another one and butt it up against this side. And then I'll just go ahead and uh, center them and then just measure from the top of this. So that when you hang it up, the it'll be nice and level. So I just go ahead and glue these and then pin nail them in. And then go ahead and screw those on. And I'll also go ahead and just quickly do a light um, torch to the back of the flag just to give it a uniform look. And then I'll also hit the sides and then the, the top and the bottom sides as well just so that it all looks uniform. All that's left to do is dry and she's good to go. All right, and that's it. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments down below and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.